This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Foldies Polarized Folding Classics V2, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So as you can see, and as you probably heard from the name, these are folding sunglasses. So they fold out into pieces and they fit or fold down into pieces and fit inside this case. So I'll unfold these just so you get a quick look at how they look when they're unfolded. But these are made of plastic similar to, you know, a lot of more budget friendly sunglasses that you'll see on the market. But one thing I do like about these is the screws on the hinges, they're all metal. So that's nice because obviously, you know, if you have a pair of sunglasses, you're going to be closing them like this all the time. But if you have a pair of folding sunglasses, you're going to be, you know, closing the hinges a lot more and you're just gonna be operating them a lot more. So seeing that those are made from a more durable metal is awesome, and also the bridge here between the nose is a big piece of metal. So that's obviously probably the, the most important piece because it kind of brings everything together. So I think that's nice to see that that's a, a big durable chunk of metal there. But the rest of these sunglasses are plastic, including the lenses and the frames. So just you know, take that with what you will, but they do feel very durable. They feel more durable than other plastic sunglasses that we've tested in the past. And when I say that, I mean like the arms and stuff. And I think that's probably because it's like kind of broken down into smaller pieces of plastic. So if this was one long piece of plastic, you're gonna get a little bit more flimsy in there because it is one big long piece. But because it is smaller pieces broken up by these hinges and joints, you do get a little bit more durability in the pieces of plastic, which I think is a good thing. And just to kind of reiterate one more time, when you fold these, you fold the end of the arms there, then you fold these in like this, and then on the bridge of the nose there, and then they fit inside this leather case. And there is a microfiber cloth included as well with the uh, purchase of these glasses and the case comes too. So these fit inside of here. And this case is leather and it is like kind of hard walled, like it's got quite, I'll take the glasses out just so you can see that when I push on the the case without the glasses in it. it. It's pretty durable and it feels pretty strong, which I like. It's got these kind of rough corners here, which is good for like, adding structure to it. And it, I never really felt that the glasses were going to break when they were in here, even if I just threw them in my pack or did whatever with them. So that was nice to have that peace of mind and because these, when they're like this, don't feel particularly durable. Like I said, the plastic first durable, but when they're like this, they feel very vulnerable. So if you were to like put these in your back pocket and you accidentally sat on them, I really think they just crunch and at least a piece of them would break. But when you throw them inside the case that just have that little bit of extra durability and I'm really just not worried about this at all anymore. Like if you were to step on it or something like that, you're gonna probably break them. But if you just fell, fell off of the table or fell out of your pack or maybe got smunched between your laptop and your Nintendo Switch or something, it's going to survive. And I think the case looks pretty nice too. And you got that pretty big Foldies branding there, but I think it blends in nicely and overall looks nice and works well. So packability is where these sunglasses really shine. Obviously, as you can see in the case here, this is much smaller than like a regular hard case for a pair of glasses. I mean, you're gonna look at about that big probably normally for a, a hard case for your sun sunglasses, whether they're nice sunglasses or not, they're gonna take up a fair amount of room. And that's where I think these really shine, especially because the, I mean, like when you look at it side by side, it does at, seem a lot bigger, but the overall footprint is not increased that much by this case, especially when you like stack it on top there. You can see there's obviously some added space around the edges, but this is a very uh, small case for a very small pair of sunglasses. And I think that is important to note just because when you're traveling, you want to save as much space as possible. And even if you don't think you're going to need some sunglasses, it's nice to have them just in case you do. And when they're this small and such a small package and you can throw this inside of a sling even, it's nice to have the option to bring sunglasses even when you think you might not need them. So I'm just going to pull these out and put them on real quick so you can see how they fit. And something I like about these glasses is they don't particularly look like folding glasses when you have them on. I mean, like obviously you can see where they fold, but it almost looks kind of like a design choice or maybe as a way to add stability. But these are kind of feel a little bit, not, not super sporty, but like a, a mix between casual and sporty to me. As you can see the, the sides here. I don't think they look overtly like folding glasses, as I said, but I think they really fit in whether you're playing like 
beach volleyball or you're just like walking around. I don't think that they're you know fancy by any means and we're gonna get into a comparison between these and another pair of folding glasses that we have. But I think these are a good all around pair of glasses and they fit comfortably and they fit well. I have a, a bit of a bigger head I think but other people in the office didn't have an issue with how they fit. So I think to, no matter what your head size is you're going to find these fairly comfortable. So we've got three pairs of sunglasses here that we've used in some sort of a travel capacity here at Pack Hacker. And this is kind of like the spectrum for me. This is obviously the most expensive glasses here on the right. These are the Rove uh, Presleys. We have a few different pairs of Rove sunglasses here in the office. And then in the middle, we have the Foldies, which we are talking about now. And then on the left side of the spectrum, I would put the Knockaround Black on Black Premiums. So things to note about these different sunglasses, is obviously the Knockarounds come with this pretty flimsy case. So this isn't gonna give you any protection. It's gonna stop your glasses from getting scratched, but that's about it. You could obviously upgrade the case if you want to get a hard case, but it does not come with that. And I feel that this plastic isn't as durable as the plastic on the Foldies is. It just doesn't feel like it has as much, um, I don't know what it is, it just doesn't feel as durable. Then obviously when you compare the Foldies to the Roves, they're just a bit of a different style. Like the Roves feel a bit fancier to me. They feel like they could kind of be more dressed up, but you wouldn't want to play like a game of beach volleyball in these or really go on a hike with them because they're, you know, metal and you just, it just doesn't really fit the bill. But they do take up a ton less space, especially when they're in their case. This is just like a silicone case that is going to protect your glasses, but, and also take up a lot less room. But something else I think that's important to note is there is quite a big price difference between these. At least at the time of recording, the knockarounds are about half the price of the Foldies, and the Foldies are about half the price of the Roves. So they all have like their different quirks and different things that they could be used for, but they all have a purpose, I think, too. So there you have it, the Foldies Polarized Folding Classics version two. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.